Two straight roads intersect at 60 degrees. Carrier A moves towards the junction at uniform speed 18. So uh, I'm going to draw 18 going downwards with a 18 going down in this direction at 60 degrees. I'm just going to break it up into its components. Uh, what's it? 18 cos theta and 18 sine theta? Oh, sorry, 18 cos 60 and 18 sine 60. Right, that's a good start. So uh, nine and nine root three, I believe. It's nine here, nine root three. Therefore, we can obtain that the velocity of a is it's going to the left, so it's minus nine i, and it's going downwards, which is. 9 root 3, J. We all good with that? Alright. Phi B is moving away from the junction. So Phi B is actually going to the right. So that's 15 I. Happy days. Really difficult part one. Find the philosophy of A relative to B. There you go. So. You should all be that far along, we hope. <laughs> so uh, I believe I'm going to get minus 24i uh, minus 9 root 3j, which is uh, across and down. So, across at 24, down at 9 root 3. Uh, so, I suppose I can call tan x equals 24, 9 root 3 over 24. Uh, I'm going to finish off the hypotenuse of that triangle. So it's uh, 24 squared plus uh, 9 root 3 squared. Square root the answer. Uh, 3 root 91 for the uh, hypotenuse of that triangle. Okay? So I imagine you're all very capable of taking care of that. Alright, that's masks on if you can. Okay? Now. <coughs> Next thing, uh, <coughs> okay, let's see what, what's happening here. So we've answered part one, we're, ha we're happy with that. A is 350 meters and A is 350, B is 150, I give a moment. Calculate the time interval in seconds until the cars are nearest each other, equidistant from each other. Ooh. All right. Does anybody remember my trick? What is the trick I do every time? I move one of them to the intersection. Which one do I always move to the intersection, regardless of the situation? I always move the one that comes in at the angle. Okay. So, I grab A, and I go, okay, uh, how fast is A going? 18. 18, that's a horrible number. So, what's 350 divided by 18? Oh, my God. Yeah, typical Mac, not good numbers. So, <laughs> that's brilliant. All right. So, at a T value of 175 use fractions over 9 in the future, that's the t-value it takes for, 300, uh, for A to get to the intersection. Is that okay with you guys? Now, in that time, how far has B travelled? Uh, yeah, 15 times 175 over 9, plus the original 150, you're away from the junction. So put that all into your calculator. 
and it's going to be a good old fashioned Mach number of 130, uh, 1325 over 3. All right. Let's recap where we, where we are right now. Where are we at this point in time? Okay. So what has actually happened? Who's at the junction? A. B is off into the distance. What's the distance between both cars? Yep. Great round number, isn't it? Okay, awesome. Now, what's the issue here? What direction is our direct... What, so which one's fixed to the spot? We have VAB, don't we? So which one's stuck to the spot? B. B is the one that can't move. So I'm just using this red line to indicate that B can't move. What direction is A moving relative to B? Southwest. Southwest. 24 and 9. So what does that mean? Is it getting closer to A, B, or is it getting further away? All right. Who remembers me teaching you this word for words? What does that already mean? It's already happened. Because we're currently at a time frame of, what is it, uh, 175 over 9. And 175 over 9 is roughly, is a good 19.44 seconds in the future. This means that your closest approach has already happened. So what, what do we do? What's our little trick again? Extend it backwards and draw your perpendicular. Okay. Happy days. All right. Now, if this is angle X, what's this one? Anybody? Because they're vertically opposite angles. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what does it want from us? When are they nearest to each other? No, uh, no, because it's the relative. So, make, remember I looped the, the red circle around B? I'm talking that, we're talking about the relative velocity here, okay? And the relative velocity is uh, tan x equals 9 root 3 over 24. Uh, cos x, if you want to, is, what's it, 24 over 3 root 91. Sin x is 9 root 3 over 3 root 91. They're just mock numbers, really, all right? Now, here's the question. Does it actually want me to calculate the closest distance? Reread the question. Does it actually want me to calculate the closest distance? It doesn't want me to do that. Don't need to do it. So what do I actually need to do? I'm going to calculate the green distance, all right? And when I calculate the green distance, I can divide by the speed I go that direction in, right? So let's calculate the green distance first. So what is the green distance? Let's sign cos or tan. Cos x is, uh, we'll call this a uh, letter I haven't used yet, d, right? d over 1, 3, 2, 5 over 3. And then D equals 1, 3, 2, 5 over 3, cos X, which is this guy here. Actually, this is the most difficult version of this type of question. Between the numbers and having to go backwards, it's, it's the most difficult version, I think. 24 divided by 3 root 91. Okay. Show you all that as a calculator. I got a D value, it wouldn't give it to me in fraction form, I'm afraid. So, uh, 370.394. So, D is 370.394. Okay. Now, that's the distance A covers relative to B. What speed is A going? Relative to B. We have it here. Three roots. 91. So get your answer and divide it by 3 root 91.
and you get 12.94 seconds. Now, here's the problem, all right? So what's a 12 point? 12.94 seconds, okay? And we said we were fast forwarded how much into the future? Uh, it's up the top right. So we're 175 over nine seconds into the future, but this closest approach happened 12.94 seconds ago. So how much time did it take from the start to happen? Take the two of them away from each other. And you should get an answer of 6.5 seconds. Yep. Yeah, I have to mark the scheme here, so we're all good to you a bit there as well. Yeah, you're dead right. Keep doing that. Uh, 6.5 seconds, we all good? All right, awesome. Now, uh, 